friends welcome to the channel physics by iits we are back with another very important concept of quantum mechanics and this is very important for the understanding of quantum mechanics for the understanding of the basic quantum mechanical phenomena and its consequences the consequences of the superposition principle in quantum mechanics so the famous schrodinger equation that has already been written that is h psi equals to i h cross d d t of psi t so we will in this video we will understand the what is the superposition principle in quantum mechanics and we will understand the physical interpretation of the superposition principle in quantum mechanics so before starting the video for you guys if you are preparing for net gate just tfr bark jam like examinations it's a good news for you we are with our test city schemes and these schemes are all three schemes are available you can choose accordingly to your convenience and the cost have been kept minimum for your benefits so you can join without any hesitation so this first we should understand what is superposition principle so the principle of quantum superposition states that if a physical system may be in one of many configurations like there are several arrangement of particles or several arrangement of fields so what will be the most general state the most general state is a combination of all these possibilities and the amount of each configuration is specified by a complex number look here superposition principle is not new to the physics because in electrostatics also if there are several discrete charges and you want to find out the electric field at some distant point the electric field at this point will be the superposition of the electric fields due to the all charges or from maxwell's equation you all know that if the electromagnetic field if we are taking that um, the electric field which will satisfy the maxwell equation then is the superposition of that waves i mean if e1 is uh, uh, one vector e1 is for electric field along rt okay uh, for the uh, in a position r and time vector t and if e2 is another solution which is involving also Uh, r and t that is space and time then e1 plus e2 will also satisfy the uh, maxwell equation provided e1 will also satisfy the maxwell equation and e2 alone will also satisfy the maxwell equation so both the other uh, combination of them or the superposition of them will also be a solution to the maxwell equation and this is also the quantum mechanical superposition that the most general state is the combination of all these possibilities and the amount of each configuration is specified by a complex number okay so this is a direct consequences of consequence of schrodinger equation because schrodinger equation is linear here there is no nonlinearity in this equation which is arriving for the schrodinger equation now suppose you can take to understand it quite uh, clearly suppose you can take any two quantum states okay and this can be added together means they are superposed so the result will be another valid quantum state also and that every quantum state can be represented as a sum of two or more other distinct states and it is the property of the solution of the schrodinger equation so if psi1 is the wave function which satisfies schrodinger equation psi2 is another wave function which also psi2 is satisfying the schrodinger equation this combination or superposition of the psi1 and psi2 will also give you the solution of the schrodinger equation so there is a problem that how do you understand it physically or how to physically interpret okay uh, and another question also why ordinary everyday objects and events we do not uh, see any display of superposition this is such a mysterious thing and it was the statement was stated by richard feynman so we will understand this cat experiment that is a hypothetical experiment given by schrodinger or, um, that is is the cat dead or alive in his famous schrodinger equation so the edwin schrodinger 
thought experiments that the Schrodinger cat in 1935 he proposed that the the in my quantum mechanics or in the quantum mechanics the cat can be in a superposition of for the superposed state of both dead and alive so what is the modern view actually this mystery is in the modern view which is called quantum decoherence suppose a macroscopic system we are taking it as a cat it may evolve over time into a superposition of classically distinct quantum states one is the alive quantum state another is the dead quantum state now means what does it mean means that the cat has some definite probability to be dead or alive and another way you have to think it is a mixed quantum state with the environment means the with the atoms or molecules surrounding to the environment and one beautiful physical um, philosophy here also in veda uh, everything that our in our body is described by agni vayu jal i mean i don't know why that has all came from but you can understand from a philosophical view that we are all in a superposition states or entangled state with the environment okay and this all will decide our uh, probability of the probabilistic out outcome or the result or me measurement of the result that whether the cat is the dead or the alive so suppose you are taking state vectors three state vectors one is f1 another is f2 another is f3 so each solve the schrodinger equation that is the linear equation on psi then psi can be written as psi equals to c1 f1 plus c2 f2 plus c3 f3 so is also be a solution because each of the uh, f1 f2 f3 state vectors satisfy schrodinger equation and the linear combination of them will also satisfy schrodinger equation and what is this c1 c2 c3 c1 c2 c3 are nothing but complex coefficients what does it represent this represents the probabilities for the system to be in either configuration suppose we are taking a electron okay then electron have can have two possible configuration for its spin either the spin can be up or can be down so the spin state can be written as c1 this is the state for the spin up state plus c2 the for the spin down state the c1 is the uh, c1 c2 are the complex coefficients now we have to take the probability for the specified configuration and it will be given by the square of the absolute value of the coefficient and as the sum of the probabilities is equals to 1 so that implies that the electron is either in one of the states for sure that is either when you measure it will be either in the spin up state or in the spin down state so the probability for spin up is mod of c1 square and probability of spin down is mod of c2 square and the total probability that is p up plus p down should be equals to 1 so it can also be in a state suppose which is the amount we are taking that 4 by 5 amount in up spin and 3i by 5 in the down spin so the probability that it will be spin up is for mod of 4 by 5 whole square that is 16 by 25 and for the spin down case it, it is 9 by 25 the total probability that is 16 by 25 plus 9 by 25 will always be 1 so in this case let us take the schrodinger cat so schrodinger cat suppose we are expressing the complex coefficients as 1 by root 2 for the cat to be alive that is the alive state plus 1 by root 2 for the cat to be dead means there is a 50 percent probability of the schrodinger cat to be alive or 50 percent probability of the schrodinger cat to be dead or it is a mixed state of 50 50 percent to the alive state and the dead state okay so this is again the same announcement that you can join our any of the test series and it will be really helpful for you with the least cost or with the minimum cost ever so thank you friends thanks for watching the video don't forget to like the video share the video if you find it helpful and also subscribe to our channel so please subscribe it thank you